Okay, today we have Betty and Dupree, uh, easy blues finger style. Um, it's one of those tunes that nobody knows who wrote it. It's, there's so many versions of it. Um, so we'll just call it a traditional piece. Uh, we have three chords. We're in the key of E, so our chords are E major, A dominant seventh, and B dominant seventh. Okay, now what we'll do here is we the thumb on the right hand, depending on the chord, is just keeping the, the beat going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So if we're on an A, we're going to play it on the sixth. If we're on an A or a B7, we'll play it on the five. Okay? And the other thing with the left hand is we want to keep the chord shape on as we move, because the little finger is going to do most of the moving. Okay? So that's it's good in the beginning if it's particularly for beginners because the fourth thing is often neglected and we need it. this one takes the longest to get under control so we want to start using it ASAP. All right let me just play a little bit for you. chord shapes on with the left hand and the little finger does the work and we'll just keep the, the beat with the thumb and just use your index in the middle you can use your ring for the first string if you wish or you can switch to your middle it's up to you a lot of the blues players just play thumb finger thumb index in the middle um, it's just good practice to, to use your, your ring finger as well so let's break this down so the, our lead bar walking along the third string we go one two three Easy peasy, one, two, three, using the same fingers. Then we come into an E chord, an E shape, okay? Two on the two of the five, three on the two of the four, one on the one of the three. Now we're just gonna keep the bass going. First things first, we're gonna play six and two together. So I would use my middle here, sorry, so it's thumb, little finger goes to the two on the on the second string for the offbeat, and then we're gonna the six and two together, and the three, the third string by itself, six, one. Okay, so let's break that down again. Six and two, six, add the little finger, two, lift, six and two, three, six, one. Okay, so we have first open first string is to move to the A7. So we put the A7 chord on and we play the thumb moves to the fifth and we play five, one, five. Add your little finger to the two on the one. One by itself, five and one. Two by itself, five. Lift for the open two to bring it back into the E chord. Let me show you that bar again. So it's five, one, five. Add your little finger. One, lift, five and one, two, five, lift, two. Okay, so I have. Okay, if we put those first two bars together. Okay, third bar. <coughs> Go back into an E major, but this time we're going to have the first finger in the air because we're going to hammer. So what we do is we go six, six, then we play the three, hammer the one on, six and two. Now get your little finger to the third fret on the third string, play the third string, pull the little finger back to the second fret, six and three, lift the little finger off, third by itself. So all together, six, six, three with a hammer, six and two, add your little finger, three, pull it back, Six and three, lift it off, three by itself, so it goes. And then the fourth bar is just six, one, six, six, six. Let me show you those four bars together. So we start from an E major, well, 
You've got your lead in, and then A major. Okay. Now, fifth bar, we're going to do an A7 again, little finger does the work on the first string. So we have five and one, five, add your little finger to the two, that's one by itself, five and one, lift, two by itself, five, one, uh, six bar, five, one, five, add, add your little finger, one, five and one, two, five, open two. Let me show you those next two bars so it's the same, uh, this, how's it, except the seventh and eighth bar is the same as the third and fourth, okay, so we've just got the A major with the first finger hovering above the first uh, fret, and six, six, hammer on the three, six and two, little finger to the third string, play it, pull it back, six and three, lift, three, six, one, six, 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 okay. Now, uh, B dominant seventh, Second finger, second fret, fifth string. Second, third finger, second fret, third string. First finger, first fret, fourth string. Normally you would put your first, sorry, fourth finger on the first string here, but we need, we need that to move, so we're gonna keep that in the air. And then for these bars, for the uh, nine and 10, we're gonna stay on the B7. Thumb moves to the fifth, and we play five and two. Add your little finger to the second string on the second fret, five and two again. Lift, five and two again, three by itself, five, two, and then five, little finger back on, five and two, lift, five and two, three, five, and then we're gonna hammer into the E chord now. So we're gonna go the first fret on the third string, but that's your indication to put the chord back on. And then when you arrive on the one, you wanna to, to hit that sixth string, you see? So hammer, arrive on that first fret my thumb comes back in but I've got the chord on okay so okay let me just show you that one again so after the B7 third string there and then it brings us back into what we've already talked about so let me show you that one again it's a very slow lead in bar sorry So if I play it slightly different. You know when you get a 
bit more of a groove into it. But just, just for now, just stick to the, to the finger suggestions, okay? And then when you've got your position, then you can just let your thumb go a bit, you know? Very like how Charlie Pan used to play. Like you pull the chords on it, and you pick bits out, but uh, the, the thumb was very driving and how Charlie would do it. So I hope that helps. And any questions, put them in the comments or you can contact me through my website in the description uh, if you would like lessons or if you have just any questions I don't mind um, here all day whether I like it or not <laughs> and please like and subscribe all that kind of stuff and I will catch you next time